And now, the MTV premiere of an all-new episode of Making the Band 4. Previously on Making the Band. <laughs> oh, can I have you for a long time? <laughs> so, I'm back. Uh, I'm not sure for what. Have you spoken to any other girl? Have you? They haven't reached out. No. Y'all have a responsibility to straighten this out. I have reached out, but if someone doesn't want to pick up an email or a phone call or answer... I don't care if y'all got to call each other four or five times, whatever, but once you make the final decision and it's over... We're not making the final decision. We're sitting okay. here telling you saying, we want to work. Mine's Shannon. Well, Shannon's fine. Okay. You want us to, to punch her in the face no. and drag her no. here? No. Go that one last for second, because once that hammer comes down, and it's over, it's over, all right? All right? Apparently, it's all our fault. It's our fault now that everyone else doesn't want to be here. It's our fault. <laughs> In some kind of way, we have to be the mediators because shame on us to have made people not want to be here. I think I'm just upset because it, it was just like, I felt like we were being yelled at. Yelled at. And we're the ones who are still standing here at the end of the day. Like... When they say to be here, we're here. When they say we sing, we're there. We're getting fussed at because we're here. Like that's that's so unf like I just feel like that's so unfair. But I guess life, you know, life's unfair. He made it seem like if there's not, if the other two don't come back, then it's done. The done. If that's the case, do we just say goodbye to it, or do we fight for it, or do we have a choice? So basically, if everyone else says no, we have to sit back and say, okay, bye, dream, because everyone else didn't want to be a part of the dream, but we still want it. I'll gladly contact everyone. I mean, like, it's not like we haven't done it for the 467th time. Mm -hmm. we'll reach out one more time. It doesn't hurt to ask. If they reply, they reply. They don't, and, and we know. Excuse me. I was looking at my new logo. I love it. Now to this show, okay? The guys. What the f am I saying about that? <laughs> the house. Oh, I'm sorry. The house. I'm moving the guys into the house. Every year, you know, I move them into a house so we can see how crazy they get in the house. You know how we do it, bad boy bitches. Yeah, let's go. Peace. Of dreams, you get caught up in the seams and fall apart in the scene. He hooked us up this time, you know, no girls, no Danity Kane. That's just us. Us and Donnie. You know it's gonna be crazy. Oh, look at the balcony. Oh, it's high. No, this is dope, man. Yeah, I'm really scared of heights. Ah. <laughs> this house is, like, amazing. Every corner of the house has a balcony. Jacuzzi, showers that have, like, three showers inside of them. Is that a dryer or is that water? Hey, y'all, look at this. Come here. Look at the shower. That's funny because it washed out the private area. <laughs> this penthouse is bananas. This is living, man. I said, we moving on up. We moving on up. Moving on up. Moving on up.
good, baby? What's up? We just moved into our new crib. It's yeah. nice. It's nice. Real nice. What's going on out there? I'm trying to cook. <laughs> but KB, he's in the front room jumping off the couch. He's gonna break his neck. Mm -hmm. Then he wants to play wrestling. Then he wants his daddy. Then it starts all over again. Wow. Well, I got a son. His name is Kavion. He's three years old right now. And that's my heart. I miss him. Oh, he misses you, too. I think it's your turn. Give me a break. You see, it's my turn. Your turn. <laughs> if I can, you know. I guess right now it's real tough for everybody. You know, my son, you know, I'm not there for him. And, and he's there with his mom. And she's left to be a single parent. And I'm there, but I'm not really there. I need you, Daddy. Here, you want to talk to your dad? Hey. What's up, man? I want to go with you. You want to come with me? Yes. Okay, you can come with me. I love you. I love you, too. Hello? Yeah, he can come, man. Just bring him, I guess, for a couple of days or something. That, that'll be lovely. <laughs> he just jumped off the couch. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I got some good news, y'all. What's the good news? I just got off the phone with Shonda, man, and Kavion is coming. That's not good news. It is good news. It's good. That's not good news. Y'all don't like that news? Kavion is bad. Hurricane Kavion. He's a nice boy, but you know, like little kids. Hey, you just come and visit for a day? Good, I don't know how long it's going to be. Stop. You don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how long it's going to be. He's staying with us? So you got to stay with us. He's staying right here. No, no, no. You can't stay. You and I stay in the same room, though. I know. I do, too. Five men and a baby. Oh, boy. He gotta get up early in the morning. You gotta read him to sleep. You gotta read him to sleep. You, but, but he, 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 yeah, you, yeah, do, you do gotta do. read him to sleep. He pee the bed? If he slip up, then I got him. We gotta watch him or Shonda gonna be here watching him? Us. What? Did he say we? <laughs> you, when do we you, become you, friends? You. <laughs> we, 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 we. I don't think that day 26 is actually ready for KBI because he's, he's something else. Trust me, I know. Y'all get ready for the hurricane to come through? The hurricane. Hurricane. Hurricane Kavion. Making a band special, special announcement. announcement. Calling all musicians. Calling all musicians. Check it out. I'm doing a new show called Making His Band. I need keyboards. I need drums. I need bass. Guitar. I need it all. The full band. We're holding auditions in Los Angeles. Chicago, Detroit, and New York. For all details on how to audition, go to makinghisband.mtv.com. Last train to Paris. Get on and get off. Yeah, peace. Well, today my son is coming to be with me. His mom's going to come bring him to me. I just want to just have quality time with my son. Hey. What's up, man? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you guys. You going? How are you? Your turn. What's up, man? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, huh? You gonna be good? It's my room, man. See what you're working with. Okay. All right. I need me one of these. A lot of people see the glamour, the glitz, but this little dude, man, this one little package means so much to me, man. It, 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 it's, you know, it's... All that other stuff is actually nothing compared to the feeling that I got for this guy. Who is this? Huh? Who is this? I look at every day. I look at that every day, man. What's up? <laughs> uh, well, 
really been. So Will son Kavion is in the house. It's great. He's the smartest three-year-old I have ever met in my life. Do it, do it, do it, Jeff, Jeff Milwaukee. Hey, so done. Uh oh. All right, now do yeah, the Michael Jackson. Do the Michael Jackson. Oh. <laughs> no, that's man. my nephew. Where am I at, bro? We we right here, man. I'm in here. Yeah. You got like eight balconies. I counted 24 now, but yeah, I was counting. <laughs> Being a solo artist, it gets so lonely sometimes. It's so nice being able to move back with day 26. It's like moving back home. Yeah, it's been busy. I know it's been crazy, huh? Yeah. Diddy told me not to write yet. He said not to write. He was like, you'd be lucky if you make it to the next album. Really? Yeah. Why? I was like, I was like, Puff, I've been writing a lot. He's like, I don't even want to hear that word out of your mouth. But. Still been writing anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I am seen for me. Chatting by everything that I touch and I see. I'm just another student of the game. Struggling to exist. But I've always been the type to want to persist. Happy heartwarming, girl. Yeah. What's up, sis? Show me around. <gasps> this view. This is so nice, you guys. That is a jacuzzi. So, I mean, where's Andre and I's room? Um... Are we not staying here? Can um, we have a sleepover? Um, it sucks because we're still living out of a hotel. We don't really have a house, and I don't care. I won't be in the house anyway. Whatever. I feel like I'm jealous of where you live. Why are you like, jealous? This is so nice. They had good books. This one's called Danny Kane. Is that, is Dawn, that... special edition. It starts off telling your life story. Oh, my life story is pretty interesting right now. How you made it and how much you wanted this. And how it's on stall right and now. And the people came in your life. It made it well, great. What made it great? You made it great. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just... I'm just tired of being alone. I've had, like, numerous opportunities to be a solo artist. It's not in my heart. Right. And, like... I just feel very lonely. It's, it's not what I desire, you know? Watching you guys makes it worse. It was hard for me in the beginning. Uh, it was a lot of resentment, not at anyone specifically, but just at the situation because I felt like I was left with no answers. Everyone seems very happy where they are right now. You know, no what, one you know, seems like I'm hurting. Like everything is fresh and everything. Is I like, feel like I'm hurting. Like, like I feel like I need to eat my next meal, and no one else feels like that. That's yeah. what I feel but, like. You feel me? Right now, I feel right like now, no one else is starving like I'm starving. Thing of the industry, the, the breakup of Danny Kane, so... Yeah, but I'm sorry, nothing is as big as the platinum but album. That, but that yeah. is gonna die down. Then what after that? Right. Then what after that? Right, I get you on that. Because I am sorry, us separately, none of us is getting the, the Hammerstein ballroom on our own. Last time I checked. I don't care how big your hustle is, nobody is getting 12000 in a stadium. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am dying right now. Like, I can't even breathe because I miss be in the studio or recording something. You know what? You feel me? It's crazy. You say I know y'all understand that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all be like hungry to be. Y'all be in the studio 900 billion hours. Y'all do like five songs a day. I'll be, you know what I'm saying? I'll just stay in the studio with y'all just to be in, in the presence of it. I feel like, is no one else hungry like that right now? I don't even know why we broke up. Like, I'm still trying to figure it out. Neither do I. I'm still trying to figure out what was the point. We don't have to get along. The stage is where we get along. Let me ask you this, have you, have you spoken to anyone other than Andre? I've tried to speak. I've, I've, I've spoke to Shannon, and she let me know that she knows how big we could be with something in our heart is to learn she doesn't want to do it anymore. That could be I more fear. That could be Shannon more fear than anything. She's afraid. You know what I'm saying? She's afraid to get let down again because Shannon gave up more than we all did. And look what that got her. No, no money for a home, living it with some other person with her husband, and barely seeing her man. So what, would she want to do it again? I see why she's scared. But I'm just, I want to come to her like, I won't, I, I won't let that happen to you. Like, I, I believe so hard in the hustle that we can have that I wouldn't let it happen. If I, if I could rest it all on my shoulders, I, I would promise her that it wouldn't happen. That's how hard I would go for her. And I think that's the reality of what we weren't doing for each other. That, and that's, that, I think. That's, that's how hard y'all go for each other. And that's why I like to hang with y'all. Cause I want somebody to go hard for me because I'm a, cause if we get it, there's no limit. Still, still some tears now, but, um, 
I'm more in a positive place because now I'm just trying to understand what my next move is. You know, now it's mission DK, you know, DK mission, find, find a girl. This is to get Shannon back. Hey, this is the Danny King. This is Danny King. for you to do? What? That's why. Why don't you go in there and beat up Big Mike? What? off with Diddy, he told me, don't even think about a second album, worry about this album now. I want to do something that'll just get me popping on the radio. Mm -hmm. And then, like, then my, then my album will just... Right. Then Pick It Up will just easily get played. Right. I just feel like today's market, you can just release a single. I've been going through so much, and I've dealt with so much, and I've, I've had so many experiences now that I've just... I've had to write. Sometimes you know what's best for your career, you know what I mean? And other people don't see that vision, and they want you to still be like a puppet and do whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's gotta be like, man, that's gonna be the winner. Looking so down, man. No reason. Stop lying, I'm man. Y'all gotta stop I'm, lying. I'm lying. I'm not lying. Why are you looking so down? I'm worn out. Okay. I mean, like, I just, there's a lot on the plate. It's a lot, but I feel like you do it, so why can't I? <laughs> I'm worn out, too. <laughs> Um, so what's up? Have you um, spoke to Shannon? What's going on? I, okay, see, ha, ha, ha. You told me to get it one more try. Uh -huh. So I'm going to try to get Shannon, and Shannon's on a cusp right now, or mm -hmm. I'm beating her over the head constantly. Yeah. So I feel like at some point she's going to get tired of it. Uh -huh. So we're going to go to um, San Francisco and try to reel her in. As a group, we're often paid to do appearances, to come and mingle with the fans and have a good time. On tour, we used to do it together as a group. But as we broke up, we still had obligations to fulfill. So Shannon, Andre, and I are going to fulfill an appearance in San Francisco. It's just so crazy when people aren't talking or you have a divide between people and it ain't really nothing real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think my mission is to get us all to sit down and just talk like adults. You know what I'm saying? I think, I'm down I think for that. that we owe it to the fans just to see where everything is at. I really love spending time with my son. Want a hot dog? No. You don't want a hot dog? No. What you want? Ice cream. Huh? Ice cream. Where'd he go? He disappeared. I have to spoil him. Uh, I buy him toys. What truck you want? I also got to put my foot down and be responsible, too. Team. Team. 
Hey, hey, had a stink, bro. Hey, hey. When I make you? <laughs> it was supposed to be an afro. And now you just look like one of the Simpsons. I, 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 I. And when we wrap up tonight, man, I always try to have that father and son time, so I like to lay him down and read him a bedtime prayer. Say thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. For this new day. For the new day.